These are the rhinos, they're just coming out of the house um, this morning. I've been here for 30 years and I can quite honestly say there's not been one day that I didn't actually want to come into work. Angela actually came here for the first time on a day's work experience. Basically, she never went home. I think that um, the learning's very, very relevant. The first study she did here, she got top of the course for the whole year throughout the country. Get over. She's gone on to a degree, open university degree, and a foundation degree in zoo animal management as well. We don't know it all, and we're learning more and more all the time by studying ourselves and helping others to study. Come and have your milk. Even to become a keeper, you know, they're looking for zoology degrees, biology degrees, um, and I just wanted to keep ahead of the field, really. My wish was uh, to go to university in Iran and finish my study in uh, science. I'm from Iran and I'm Kurdish. We always have trouble with uh, government. I forced to leave the small glass from uh, Iran to here. His English skills needed work. I try, try hard to uh, get back to study. He was attending every available additional English language course that he could. He was working nights and would come to college having maybe had two or three hours sleep. He was also homeless. Learning is mean power. <laughs> He worked his socks off, basically. Now I'm doing like science access, and I've got plays at uni, so in biomedical science. That's an extraordinary achievement for somebody who came to this country without family support, not four years ago, speaking no English whatsoever. On leaving school, I became very unwell with uh, mental health problems. Larissa had issues such as self-harming. I was in hospital for many, many years. I really wanted to succeed. I wanted to get back into work. She joined an HND in public services. It was just a huge culture shock to come from being in a, a high supervision psychiatric unit into a college with 3,000 students. I couldn't use the computers. I found it very hard sitting in class. She kept herself on track and then progressed on to a top-up degree. It's just really helped stabilise and improve me, really. We're at Hampshire Fire and Rescue Services and I'm going to be starting a placement here, helping with their research. But for Larissa, every day is still a challenge. Education has opened up so many doors for me before I couldn't even see myself getting a cleaning job, really, so... Who knows, hopefully I'll get back into the workplace at doing something I really love.